While DNA molecules store the data a thousand times more dense than the most compact hard disk, their application in practice is quite limited. This is mainly because the current commercial DNA synthesis processes are quite slow and of course expensive. Watch our previous video to learn more. So are there alternative approaches to encode data into DNA molecules? Of course there are. And one of the most recent ones is to directly encode the data into living bacterial DNA. I know it seems strange. How come you wanna write something on the DNA of a bacterial cell? The answer is embedded in CRISPR biology. CRISPR is a family of DNA sequences found in the genomes of prokaryotic organisms, such as bacteria. These sequences come from DNA fragments of some bacteriophages that have already infected the bacterial cell. So the bacterium has a specific machinery that can cut its own DNA at some certain locations and insert pieces of the invading DNA in the form of an array on its genome and use Aha. them to remember, detect, and destroy DNA from similar viral invaders in the subsequent invasions. So, originally CRISPR is part of an antiviral defense mechanism. However, we want to use that for our own purpose, to write down the data and the DNA of the bacteria. The notable point here is that those pieces of the invading DNA are placed next to each other with some repeated sequences in between to form an array of genes. And this is what is quite useful for data storage purposes, the digitalization of the genes. Now imagine that instead of the invading viral DNA molecules, you feed this DNA array forming machinery with two distinct strands of small DNA molecules to mimic a binary data system. One strand to represent a binary zero and the other one to represent a binary one. With that, you can encode zeros and ones on the bacterial DNA. Still, the question is how can it be done in practice? So we need to control the bacterial cell to embed into the array a gene that represents a binary one or zero exactly when we want. And this is the challenging part. This direct data writing on the genome of the living cells was made possible by engineering some bacteria with a specific plasmid called p trick that could readily be amplified in response to an electrical signal. Once the p trick sequence was amplified in the cell, it could land into the DNA array using the CRISPR machinery, encoding a binary one value. In the absence of an electrical signal, a reference sequence was incorporated into the DNA array, representing a binary zero. So you literally write down your data on the bacterial DNA by pushing a button to electrically trigger the cell. Following this method, scientists directly encoded an array of p sequences into the bacterial cells to spell hello world. This message was retrieved later using DNA sequencing, even after mixing the engineered bacteria with some other bacteria in soil. This highlights the robustness of the method. While this direct digital to biological data writing approach is quite promising and exciting, it is still in its early days. One important issue that needs to be resolved is the risk of mutations. I mean losing some parts of the DNA during replication of the bacteria. Mutation can cause loss of data on the bacterial genome. So far, the data has been only stable until 60 bacterial generation. However, when such issues are resolved, this method may offer a high security data storage capability by hiding the data into the genomes of live bacteria.